coming up on Fixing the Money Thing. All of these things, our personal freedoms, our economic freedoms, our political freedoms, our religious freedoms, I really believe that they are all tied together. And if we lose one of them, yeah. we lose all of them. If we stop speaking the truth and if we stop holding our politicians' feet to the fire, the only people speaking are going to be the liars. Dr. Kirk Elliott on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to another edition of Fixing the Money Thing, specifically your money thing. We're glad you're with us today. Yes, good to have you. Now, Gary, you are always keeping us abreast of the facts of what's going on yes. in the economic world. Today's yes. program is called 300 Million yes. Slaves. What is that about? Well, Drenda, it's a sobering show. And with everything happening in our country, Drenda, we are on the edge of, well, slavery. 300 million, the population of the U.S. is headed for slavery in the sense that we're losing our economic freedom, our spiritual freedoms, we're losing freedoms, and now is the time that we need to understand what's happening. And today, we have a special guest who's going to help us understand what's happening, but this is vital, Drenda, that we understand where we're at and what's happening in this nation. That's right. Dr. Kirk Elliott is with us today. Yes, he is. And we're going to find out what's going on, but also what you can do because you need answers. You do not want to miss today's program, right, Gary? That's right. And to help us understand the significance of what we're talking about, we have some information about what's actually happening in the country as we live these days of chaos. In the United States, House prices have fallen an average of about 33% from their 2006 peak, resulting in about $7 trillion in household wealth losses. Currently, about 12 million homeowners are underwater on their mortgages. The national debt has topped $16 trillion. That's an average household liability of about $136,690, or $45,000 per person in the United States today. Wow, those are some sobering statistics, but we've got hope today for our viewers, don't we, Gary? Yes, we do. Of course, it takes God, Drenda. There's no way to navigate this situation without God. And today's guest, Dr. Kirk Elliott, is back again. He's been with us many times. Uh, so glad to have you, Doctor, today. Thanks. And, it's uh, great to be back. You know, it's a, a kind of a, a kind of a sobering visit, if you will. I've asked you to come uh, join us because of your new project you just released called 300 Million Slaves." And uh, it just you got to tell us about this. I mean, we know what's happening, but what prompted this project? And tell us, you know, what what it's about. Well, sadly, 300 million slaves is a glimpse into the future of our country, where we will be if, if we don't act, if we don't step up to the plate and start speaking the truth and speaking the truth in love and being the believers that God has called us to be. Yes. We will be slaves while we lose our economic freedoms, our political freedoms, our religious freedoms, and our personal freedoms. They are being stripped away from us day after day after day, and we're sitting by idly in doing nothing about it. Dr. Elliott, I think so many Christians don't want to get involved in politics. I mean, they're, they're about going to heaven and about, uh, you know, the Bible, for heaven's sake. I mean, are you saying that we're supposed to be involved in every man's world? Yes, we are. <laughs> we were created to do that. If you look through the Old Testament, for example, there's so many examples of where religion and politics meet. Take Daniel, take yes. Joseph, take Esther. Esther, she put her life on the line for her nation. She spoke to kings. All of them did. That is how God created us to because he frankly created us to be his ambassadors, didn't he? Yes. And so what is an ambassador? An ambassador is somebody who is basically a citizen of one country speaking on behalf of that country yes. to another country. We are citizens of God's kingdom. We are to bridge the gap between his kingdom and the rest of the world and speak his truth and to get the victory that we all have 
as believers if we were to just walk in that power. It's yeah. interesting, all of the movements that are rising are the vocal movements. You know, we have the Muslim community that's rising. We have homosexual community that's rising because they're very vocal about it. And yet Christians have been made to feel like we're supposed mm -hmm. to be quiet and just pray. What do you think? Well, that, that's true. Whenever we can speak up and if we could speak in concert with each other and be speaking the same message at the same time, we can sound very loud and very vocal and we can really change things. And this is part of the reason why I actually did this project. I read a book probably about a year ago now called How Do You Kill 11 Million People? I know it's kind of a gruesome title, but it, but it got me and I read it and it's a very small book, took 30 minutes to read, but it was about the rise of Hitler and the Holocaust. Holocaust and what was going on in Germany at the time. Well, there was a church, this was an eyewitness account, there was a church on the railroad tracks that heard about the Jews and the atrocities that were happening to them and they chose not to believe that it was that bad because they couldn't grasp that fact in their heads. So, what did they do? What did they do was the question. And one Sunday when they were in church worshiping, train came down the track. They could hear the wheels screeching, the thunder of the train, and then they heard the Jews screaming to their death. And how did that church respond? Well, they started singing loudly and more loudly, and they started worshiping their Lord so loud that it was drowning out the screams of the people being brought to their death. So I had to start asking myself, is it wrong to be in church? Nope. Is it wrong to worship God? No, he loves it when we do. Is it wrong to be in church and worship God so loudly, so focused on yourself that you're drowning out the screams of the people going to their death? Yes, then it is. And these eyewitness accounts that one of the, one of the gentlemen that they interviewed in that book, still alive today, said that his, he is haunted by nightmares every single night of those screams because they did nothing. Mm -hmm. except focus on themselves. Mm -hmm. This is why I did this project, because it is time for the Church of America, which all of us are part Amen. of the church yes. corporately, yeah. to be the pastors in our own communities. It's not just about the pastors of this, of this country, of the churches of this country waking up. It's about all of us being pastors to our own community and start to speak the truth in love and be the ambassadors that God has called us to be and to reach out. And you know what? When we do that and we learn to engage our community, we can change our culture. Yes, yes, we can. I know you've been in economics. It's interesting mm -hmm. that you, you're a financial expert like Gary, you, got, you guys talk about finances, but yes. you're seeing the connection between morality and finances as well. And it's right there in the Word of God, isn't it? It's, it's yes. right there in the Word of God. I mean, God's Word is a blueprint for a successful life. Right. And, right. and we're violating it. And all of these things, our personal freedoms, our economic freedoms, our political freedoms, our religious freedoms, I really believe that they are all tied together. And if we lose one of them, yeah. we lose all of them. Well, people yes. have the tendency to vote their pocketbook. You know, they, they see the economic chaos and there's a bunch of that going on right now, I mean, big time. So their tendency is to want to you know, vote towards that solution. But what they don't understand is the economic chaos is simply a symptom of the underlying moral decay of the nation or even the global economy, the whole world, yes. the, the, uh, the abandonment of God in every arena A has, has allowed, allowed this to take place. And yet, as you said, Christians tend to stay quiet and allow this just to happen. And basically, how much more time does America have? I don't think we have all that much time left. And in fact, I would say that we are so f close to the edge of the cliff that it's over with for our country unless the church wakes up. And there's reasons why I say that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, it's just not a blanket statement. I think there, we are that close. The church needs to have a revival. Revival starts yes. in our own hearts individually. It spreads corporately. And then when the church is working in concert with each other, all the yeah. believers have revival yeah. in their own hearts. We yes. can win this battle. Yes, well, and we're me, not, afraid yeah. to, not afraid to speak and let yeah. our faith be seen and evident. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me why you think that. Tell me some of the reasons why you're saying that. You got any kind of... Uh, a stat or tell me something that you would say, Gary, this is why I believe we're here at this point in time. Well, Psalm 106, it is a long chapter, but what it starts out with is praise and worship. And in the Israelites saying, oh God, you're so great. Look at the prosperous nation that you have built here and we're so thankful for you. But then in verse six, mm. 
it, it's, uh, it changes. The whole tone changes. It says, we have sinned. We have transgressed against you. We have followed our own ways. And this goes on for a while. And yeah. at the end of that, well, about 13, 15 verses in, it says, God gave them what they asked for, but he also gave them leanness of soul. Well, I believe this is what he, you know, sometimes <laughs> what yeah. we think that we want is the last thing that we really want. Really need. Or need. Yeah. Or need. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so God is a gentleman and he gives us what we ask for. What are we asking for? We're kicking him out of our public arena. We're kicking him out of our personal lives. We have doors in our heart that are locked so tight. We don't even want God to get in. Mm -hmm. And it's like we have kicked him out of everything. And so we've got the politicians that we have. We've got the economy that we have. We have the culture and the yes. social decline that we have because what did we ask for? We asked for we, God to be kicked out of all of it. We voted for it. We, the, the population is the reason why we're here Yeah, because they've, they've essentially voted for this direction. And so I, I use the word chaos. I think there's a great confusion over the people. There's this cloud of confusion and I think everyone can feel it. Without a moral compass or without absolutes, it's impossible to judge life by. And of course, the Word of God is our compass. And God wants us to prosper. He, he, does, he delights in the prosperity of His servant. But prosperity is a symptom or a result of operating with, within righteousness and, and, and worshiping with the, the right heart towards God and then putting His principles in place. And uh, it's changing fast. It's changing dramatically. Sixteen fast. trillion dollars of debt, dramatically a ton fast. Of, of problems. Sixteen trillion dollars yes. of debt is actually just the the evidence of something gone bad of our morally bankrupt society. Yeah, well, I want to hear more about this morally bankrupt society and some answers you may have to help us when we come back to fixing the money thing with Dr. Kirk Elliott. More on today's topic: three hundred million slaves. After this. Today's package of resources are designed to help you engage your culture while you fix your money thing. The package starts with the latest DVD project from Dr. Kirk Elliott, 300 Million Slaves, The United States and Its Free Society. The United States is falling apart around us. We're, we're on the verge of losing our economic, political, religious freedoms. A documentary style look at our country, where we have been and where we are headed if we don't engage. 300 Million Slaves will help you to equip you, empower you, and motivate you into action so we can change our country, engage our community, and change our culture for future generations. Call, write, or visit GaryCasey.com to order this powerful DVD. The next part of the package is Gary Cassie's Financial Foundations Toolkit, the ultimate library of crucial monetary information needed to fix your money thing. The toolkit starts with three incredible Revolution of the Mind CDs on finances, fear, and money proverbs. Next, you get Gary's highly requested teaching, Heaven, Here and Now, a guide to achieving the life you've always wanted. In addition, Gary has included a special CD entitled, How to Protect Your Retirement Investments. In over $50 value, you can receive 300 million slaves and the Financial Foundations Toolkit for your gift of support of only $35. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write to Faith Life Now. As a bonus, Gary and Drenda want you to have Silence is Not an Option a two-disc series recently preached at Faith Life Church to inspire you to engage our culture and be a voice for righteousness. Christians have this mindset that I'm a believer, I belong to the kingdom of God, so I'm not concerned about this earthly government. Wrong. Inspiring and informative, silence is not an option, teaches us that government is not an option and we must do our part. Call, write, or visit GaryCasey.com and we'll get these resources right out to you. 300 million slaves and the financial foundations toolkit for your gift of support of only $35 and the bonus silence is not an option if our country ever needed God's help it's now get engaged and make an impact today we now return to the studio and more from our guest Dr. Kirk Elliott on fixing the money thing we're back with Dr. Kirk Elliott here on Fixing the Money Thing, but I want to ask you a question before I go back to Dr. Elliott, and that is, if someone is breaking in your house, what would you do about it? Would you just say, help yourself to whatever I have, work my whole life to have? 
and just sit and watch them take it out the front door? Or would you defend yourself and then want to enact laws that would protect you or even to persecute, I mean, not persecute, to, uh, you know, prosecute those that have done that against your family? I think you would want to protect your family. But Christians, for some reason, have been intimidated over the years to withdraw from conflict in the marketplace. We call that politics. It's become a kind of a bad word to Christians. I don't want to get in politics. It's a nasty business. Oh, it's nasty, all right. But you know, in the Bible, in 1 Samuel chapter 13, Israel was surrounded by the Philistines. And the Bible says the situation was critical. There were so many people that came against Israel, you couldn't count them. And the Bible says when it became critical, the army, their army was hard pressed and they began to hide in caves and thickets and in the rocks. What was God's answer for that? He had to raise up a person. He had to raise up somebody that would lead his people into freedom. And that wasn't in their prayer meeting. That was on the battle line. David confronted Goliath head on to deliver Israel from the captivity of a nation. So today on today's show, Fixing the Money Thing, we're talking about 300 million slaves and America's fought many wars mm -hmm. uh, to give us the freedom to choose. So tell us in your project you just released, tell us about a little bit more about this 300 million slave uh, that you're talking about in America here. Well, you know, Gary, what you just talked about is so appropriate because in the Old Testament you had good king and bad king mm -hmm. and good king and bad king. And the key to all of this, whenever a good king would come again, was repentance. God responds to repentance. And, and this is where the solution starts to happen mm -hmm. for our country. And, and the driving force behind this DVD is that there is a solution. It's not all gloom and doom. Yeah, it is nasty and it is gloom and doom, but if, if you don't act, you should be afraid. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but yeah, God good. gave us a voice. Yeah. He gave us wisdom. He gave us discernment. He gave us creativity to basically confront the evils of this land, yes. engage our community in a loving way to change our culture. And, and the verse that I love so much is 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Yes. That says, if my people who are called by my name, yes. that's not everybody, that's people who are called by his name, that's the Amen. believers, would humble themselves and seek his face. You know what? He will forgive pray. their sins. Yes, and pray. if they pray, he will forgive their sins. He will heal their land. Amen. Period. That is the answer to that is all the of this. Answer. It's not a we, party, is it? No. But doctor, the phrase you've heard it, we've all heard it, you don't talk about religion and politics. Wow, we I wonder who came up with to, that. <laughs> Sounds like the enemy to me. <laughs> we don't want to offend anyone, Dorinda. But you know what, last time I checked, the gospel always offends. Truth always takes a stand, and there's going to be a fence. Yes, and Jesus but, said you know, you're going to be persecuted for righteousness' sake. Yes. So if you're not saying something right and you're not getting persecuted, are you doing what Jesus said to do? Right. Well, and Jesus was persecuted. Good grief. They, they killed they him. They killed him. Yeah, they killed him. It's like not everything he said was agreeable to everybody, but what did he do? He spoke the truth, and he spoke the truth in Amen. love. And he was willing to put himself out on the line and willing to give himself... And, you know, for us. So we see America morally decaying, spiritually decaying, financially decaying. We have some serious, serious issues. Mm -hmm. um, what can we do? We have prayer. I mean, obviously, we can, the church has been praying. I mean, prayer is an answer, but prayer typically leads to a plan. In other words, as we begin to pray, God begins to download mm -hmm. a solution, which requires our, our participation in that. So what can we do to participate in the answer and allow God to use us in our culture to, to bring freedom? Yeah. See, I, I've created a, a website, a, a movement, so to speak, called todaysamerica.com. Today is plural. Um, so todaysamerica.com, where, where people can go and get equipped and become empowered. And so they can engage the community around them and change things. And we do this by bringing news stories that need to be dealt with, by information that we can act on. And as this continues to evolve, we're going to bring in some of the, the most well-known Christian conservative, socially conservative thinkers mm -hmm. in the country, where they're going to be delivering five to 10 minute videos every single month. This is the problem. This is the consequence if we don't act. And this is what you it's need to do. It's kind of an up to date kind of event. This is what's happening right now and what we need to do about it. Absolutely. And so imagine if instead of having a shotgun approach and, and you focusing on one issue, me on another, Drenda, you on another one, 
all believers around the country are, are focused on the same thing at the same time, blitzing congressmen and women's phone lines and the switchboard at the White House saying, this is the action we need to take. We want you to act on this now. So this is why today's America was created. But there's other things that we can do, very practical things that are easy. Vote. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, we the people. I'm, we the people. I mean, good grief, that's, that's right. such an easy one. Just vote and vote your values. This is where God created us with a voice. If we mm -hmm. stop speaking the truth and if we stop holding our politicians feet to the fire, the only people speaking are going to be the liars. And quite honestly, I believe, and this is what I talk about in the DVD, yes. this is exactly how the government wants it. They have a stranglehold on the clergy of this country saying, hey, if you talk about politics from the pulpit, we're going to strip away your nonprofit status. That's a lie, for one. There are so many things that, that the clergy can do, the pastors and the priests of this country, but they believe that lie. And so we, we can actually do that. And so if, if they knew that we are silenced, they can get away with a bunch of right. stuff, can't and they? And quite yeah. frankly, yes. if we did lose that in this, for the sake of righteousness, which is greater, to stand up for God's word, but you're right, it is a lie. They it's, don't have that authority. They're taking authority, but they don't have it. But even so, is our conviction strong enough in what we believe in this word that we're willing to stand for this, whether we get the tax break? Right. <laughs> I, would, I would say if it means speaking the truth or not, I would say get truth. rid of the nonprofit status. I'll be taxed as any other corporation because I'm going to speak the truth because exactly. that's what Jesus would have me yes. do. Yes. yes. Daniel, Esther, Joseph, the list goes on and on yes. and on. Josiah, all... The whole word of God The whole is word activism. of God is <laughs> activism where politics and religion yes. meet. Right. Right. Exactly. Yes, salt and light meeting a dark world. Yeah, and, and other real easy steps that we can do help a political candidate that shares your biblical values in your biblical worldview because, you know, there, there are all kinds of worldviews out there. We have to find ones that, that believe in the Bible and do what it says because that is our blueprint for a successful life. I, you know, politics is not a nasty word. Just the enemy wants you to think that because politics is where righteousness meets our government. The, the road. You, you know, talk about the, the kingdom government. all the time and how it's a different government. Yeah, government. So we're in the kingdom of God, but that government has got to impact the government we live yes, in. Yes, amen. Well, we have enjoyed having Dr. Elliot. Thank you so much it for being with us today. Being and uh, we are, we're excited you. about todaysamerica.com and, and your new project, 300 Million Slaves. And uh, we're going to get that and, and yes. uh, Anna, tap yes, into that. Yes, the DVD, uh, you know, excellent. And excellent. we come right Thank back. You. We're going to pray for this country and give you some more insight on what you can do to help your nation and your community. Today's package of resources are designed to help you engage your culture while you fix your money thing. The package starts with the latest DVD project from Dr. Kirk Elliott, 300 Million Slaves, the United States and its free society. The United States is falling apart around us. We're, we're on the verge of losing our economic, political, religious freedom. A documentary style look at our country, where we have been and where we are headed if we don't engage. 300 Million Slaves will help you to equip you, empower you, and motivate you into action so we can change our country, engage our community, and change our culture for future generations. Call, write, or visit GaryCassie.com to order this powerful DVD. The next part of the package is Gary Cassie's Financial Foundations Toolkit, the ultimate library of crucial monetary information needed to fix your money thing. The toolkit starts with three incredible Revolution of the Mind CDs on finances, fear, and money proverbs. Next, you get Gary's highly requested teaching, Heaven, Here and Now, a guide to achieving the life you've always wanted. In addition, Gary has included a special CD entitled, How to Protect Your Retirement Investments. In over $50 value, you can receive 300 million slaves and the Financial Foundations Toolkit for your gift of support of only $35. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write to Faith Life Now. As a bonus, Gary and Drenda want you to have Silence is Not an Option, a two-disc series recently preached at Faith Life Church to inspire you to engage our culture and be a voice for righteousness. Christians have this mindset that I'm a believer, I belong to the kingdom of God, so I'm not concerned about this earthly government. Wrong! Inspiring and informative, Silence is Not an Option teaches us that government is not an option and we must do our part. 
call, write, or visit GaryCassie.com, and we'll get these resources right out to you. 300 Million Slaves and the Financial Foundations Toolkit for your gift of support of only $35. And the bonus, silence is not an option. If our country ever needed God's help, it's now. Get engaged and make an impact today. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin brings a disgrace. And so today we want to get you involved in bringing righteousness to our nation and to the land, right? Amen. I'll tell you what, you know, we're here to fix money issues, but Dorinda, without fixing the underlying fabric of how life is lived, we can only put band-aids on the situation. God is the one who promotes and he's the one that gives you creative ideas. He's the one in the marketplace. And we have to protect our freedoms to create wealth. And so God wants to, he wants to bring the freedom that you desire, but it has to work with the earthly government because money doesn't have the kingdom of God stamped on it. It has your country's name stamped on it. It's the United States. So it's, it's you working in the governments of the earth realm with God's righteous government that produces your livelihood and your, your future. So it's important that we as believers understand our role in engaging conversation in the marketplace. Yes. Again, that's called politics. And I want to yes. pray for the nation, Drenda, right now. I want to pray for you right now as well. Yes. I know there's tough times, but you know, God is your source. He's your answer. He'll show you how to navigate through these difficult, mm -hmm. chaotic times. In the name of Jesus, we come into agreement for this nation, the United States of America, that she walked the path that she was birthed to walk, that people that are held captive by stupor and confusion would discern light and come into the knowledge of the righteousness of God. And then we pray that God's blessing, that his goodness prevail in the land, that the yes. families are whole, that prosperity flows, and that people worship God from their heart. And I pray that your life, yes. you'll find the, the true and living God, and you'll discover what peace he brings to your life and yes. creative ideas and, and a good Thank future. And uh, Drenda, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to know the living God and to know yes. we don't have to walk in fear and confusion in these, right. these days. That's right. The Bible says it'll go well with you if you're righteous and do what is right. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, go to GaryCassie.com or call us for prayer. We'll see you next time here on Fixing the Money Thing. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. Want to know more? Read and comment on Gary's blog. Partner with Faith Life Now. Find out where Gary and Drenda are speaking. Send us your prayer requests. Order more life-changing resources. Find out what's happening at the Now Center. Invite Gary to speak at your church or event. Watch archived Fixing the Money Thing episodes. All these things and more are waiting for you at GaryCassie.com. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more, more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center with services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. To invite Gary to speak at your service or event, contact him at GaryCassie.com. Fixing the Money Thing is a presentation of Faith Life Now.